there creepy peeps and welcome to another horror block unboxing um i have the may box may box in my lap right now i always have to remember horror block always comes late for me at least so i technically got it in june but it's the may box and even though it is the may box it is my birthday this month at the end of the month so i feel like Every little horror subscription box I get in the mail is kind of like a birthday present, even though I'm paying for it. But I mean, hey. First thing I guess we should talk about as I open it and look down is the similar Funko Pop uh, thing going on. If you saw my, I guess I'm just gonna open it. If you saw my <laughs> um, Box of Dread May unboxing, it was also uh, kind of, uh, Hannibal Lecter, Hannibal TV show kind of themed, and I don't have them to show you, but I got the Hannibal figure, and now it looks like I got Will Graham. Interesting. I wonder if that was done purposefully. Does the show start this month or something like that? Is that why uh, we're doing Hannibal? I'm really glad I didn't get <laughs> Hannibal Lecter again. <laughs> That would have been a little upsetting, but now I got a uh, companion. Moving on to the shirt, which is what we wanna see every time, right? All right, it looks like Silent Hill, which I have never seen nor played because it is a game, correct? I'm probably gonna get some people like, are you serious, Vicky? Um, that's a game, right? <laughs> it's a cool looking shirt. <laughs> I don't know a lot about it, but it's a cool looking shirt. Whoa, okay, so I got a DVD. Interesting, okay, I got Horror Block Short Film Festival 2015. Cool, you can see, this is the only way I can get you guys to see it without the glare. In association with Room Org. Interesting, okay, I'm gonna give that a watch later. Why not? All right, next thing is a print. It's just kind of like a little, uh, like thicker paper, but we have the creature from the Black Lagoon here. Is this focusing? I don't know if you can read the words there, but it says, not since the beginning of time has the world beheld terror like this. That's cute. I like that. It's just like a little, um, I guess poster print or something. It's not like a sticker or anything. That's cool. It doesn't look like there's a big theme going on this month. I'm We're kind of all over the place. We've got Silent Hill, um, Hannibal, some short films, and Creature from the Black Lagoon so far. Cool. All right, next thing is ooh, a little companion to the book I got forever ago. And now I have Rue Morgue, Weird Stats, and Morbid Facts. Very cool. Now this seems like seriously my cup of tea. I love this sort of stuff, especially when it comes to horror movies. I love knowing like little weird tidbits and things. That's awesome. Um, I do have the Horror Heroes, if I'm not mistaken, that's what the title is from the Rue Morgue Library. And this is an awesome, addition. I think this might be my favorite thing so far, which is probably true because now we're at the end and I'm pulling out a uh, Rue Morgue magazine and on the cover is the Human Centipede 3, the final sequence. Now, I really, I'm, I'm going to be quite honest, I really haven't seen any of the Human Centipede movies. Technically speaking, I have seen the first one, but I was so traumatized by it that I think, well, for one, um, I watched it like literally like this, like with one little leg. Like, so I barely watched it in the first place. And then anything I do remember of it, I think I've just blocked out of my memory and just locked it in a vault somewhere deep back here um, so I can forget about it because like I said, it was traumatizing. 
maybe I should just uh, kind of marathon these and do all three. <laughs> Is that a really bad idea? Somebody let me know in the comments. Like, should should I watch these? Should I should I go for two and three as well? I feel like I'm gonna watch the first one again and just try and actually watch it. Like, not cover my eyes. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't vomit everywhere, but. All right, and then of course, the last thing is our little card that tells us um, everything we got in there, which I'm really glad I'm looking at the um, Funko Pop figures and I had 25%, I had a 25% chance of getting the same one that I already have in uh, Box of Dread which is a little frightening. I would have been a little mad <laughs> if I got the same thing. <laughs> yeah, this one is kind of all over the place. We got a little everything, a little bit of everything in it. Um, I think my favorite, my favorite part of this whole box was the Morbid Facts book. That's very cool. And the, the short film festival DVD. All right, so that's the contents of my horror block. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And if you get Horror Block and Box of Dread, did you get two of the same? Do you now have two of the same Hannibal figures? I like, that'd just be so unfortunate if that happened. That's a little scary, Horror Block and Box of Dread. Um, <laughs> that you guys are doing that in the same month. Uh, that's a little uh, frightening. Um, <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of my face, hear more of my voice. And until next time, stay strange. Bye.